Bradley, I'll start from him. Okay. Hi guys, it's Ken from Bradley's Driving School and today we're doing a mock test with Ariana. Ariana? Ariana? <laughs> gotta, get, gotta get the name right, she's gone berserk. So it's Ariana, she's had 19 and a half hours with me, she's had private practice with the rents, haven't you? Mm -hmm. How many hours have you done? I'd say about 10 hours. 10 hours. You've had a bit more than that, haven't you? Yeah, probably about right. 10 hours. And today we're doing a mock test, and if this young lady passes this mock test, I pay for a driving test. So, to try and get around that, not paying for it, I'm going to try and get as many serious faults out of this young lady as I can. I'm going to try and make, to do that, I'm going to try and make her feel really uncomfortable, because when pupils get nervous, the brain doesn't work, and common sense goes out the window. Right, have you any questions before I go into examining mode? Anything you're not sure about? No. Are you sure? So. Would you like me to tell you a little bit about the driving test? You're going to be out for 35 to 40 minutes. You're going to take in various traffic and road conditions. Mm -hmm. You're going to do one maneuver. You perhaps will have an amazing instructor. Mm -hmm. I'm on about your mum, by the way. Right. <laughs> um, possibly the control stop, and you will be driving independently by way of sat navs or signs for approximately 20 minutes. Do you understand that? Yeah. Now we have one show me question, one tell me. I'm going to ask you to tell me a question now. Could you tell me how you check your brakes and work before starting a journey? You move off and then you apply the brakes and it shouldn't feel spongy or slack and the car should pull one side. One nearly you, well done. Now the next question will be on the move. I would like you to follow the road ahead at all times unless you're directed by signs or markings or I'll ask you to turn which you will do some good time. Do you understand that? Yeah. Thank you. If you just drive on when you're in, turn left out of here. Ariana should signal when she's level with this side road on the right. She signals far too early. Minor fault. Can you pull up the convenient place on the left, please? Ariana, I ask for a convenient place, not an illegal place. She parks the car on double yellow lines and not only that, she parks opposite the junction on the right. Serious fault, position normal stops. I've took Ariana right out of her comfort zone. She's pulled off without even looking over her right shoulder. This would be a minor fault for moving off safely. It could be a serious fault if there'd been a car or a cyclist there. A car overtakes us because Ariana is driving like my old granny. She's doing 19 miles per hour on a 30 mile per hour road. This would be a minor fault for driving at an appropriate speed. Can you pull up really close to the next park car with maybe enough room to move on? About the car then. Drive on when you feel right. I'm now going to start calling Ariana Ari because it's too much of a mouthful. She stalls the car here because she tries to move off in third gear. This would be a minor fault on the driving test because it did not affect any other road users. Do that, thank you. And then you just 
driver on the road. Ari records a minor fault for moving off safely. She moves off from the side of the road with the indicator still on for left. The end of the road turn right and then the sand left should kick in from there. After 90 yards, turn right, front street, then at the end of the road, turn left. You will arrive at your destination at 2.21 p.m. Often I say this, but I feel really comfortable sitting next to Ari. Her in-car control is really smooth. The mirror work is very impressive. Keep this up, it's good work. Ari signals right on the roundabout when she's going straight ahead second exit. This would be recorded as a minor fault. After 300 yards, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A690, levels cross bank. a very painful store. Harry, when the Mr. Driving Examiner pulls you up at the side of the road, apply the parking brake, select neutral, cancel a signal, chill your beans, and then you're more likely to see a driver when you feel ready. This would be a minor fault under the box control. Harry takes the left turn in third gear. The most appropriate gear here would be second gear in this car. This turn would left. not be marked on the driving test. Harry hmm. records a minor fall for awareness and planning. As she stops in the queue of traffic, she blocks the entrance into Sainsbury's. If there was an oncoming car wanting to turn right into there, this would be recorded as a serious fault.
Like this, the sat nav tells Ari to turn right, fourth exit, you straight in the mirrors and gets that signal. Changes lanes nice and early, well done. Nice work on that roundabout, Ari. Let's see if you do the next roundabout properly. Lots of learners straight line the roundabout and fail on this one. There Cross goes the, the signal again. She puts the, the signal exit. on for right when going straight ahead at the roundabout. You do not signal right when you are following the road ahead at the roundabout. This is another minor fault. It could easily have been a serious fault if it stopped other traffic from entering the roundabout. Nice position on that roundabout. Well done. If any of my pupils are watching this, notice how Ari pulls off at the roundabout. She drives onto the roundabout, balancing the gas and clutch. It's lovely and smooth. I would honestly pay my pupils if they could drive like this. Ah, we're coming up to Dougal's magic roundabout. Most learners will normally miss the first exit and end off going the wrong way. Let's see After if Ari falls in this yards, trap. Cross the roundabout and take the third exit, Durham Road. You need the right lane for this one. This is the third time now she signals right to go straight ahead at a roundabout. This will be now marked as a serious fault. Neat work on the mini roundabout, well done.
Harry, these traffic lights turning right. That black car in front of you should have gone a little bit further forward in. Now you must follow that car in if there's enough room. If you do not follow that car in and there's enough room, you're going to get a serious fall for that. So make sure you follow the car in. Harry, you don't need a signal to pass parked cars. If you signal to pass every parked car, it'd be like a 70s disco in here with the green flashing lights. As a guideline, if that signal is going to come fuzzle other road users, do not put it on. At the end of the road, turn left, Rothbury Road. Then, at the end of the road, turn left. Turn left. Then, at the end of the road, turn left. Harry, you're sacked. This is the third time you've pulled off in third gear. 
you did slow the cars down behind so this would be recorded as a serious fault it would have been recorded as a serious fault anyway because you've done it for the third time at the roundabout turn right it's the third exit and you missed your blind spot you don't need a signal here you do need a signal to leave but i wouldn't signal on approach the roundabout when you're going straight ahead first exit Harry records a minor fault here. She's asked to follow the road ahead, third exit, and she picks the right lane. Harry, when you have the choice of lanes to get to your destination, will you keep to the left one? So this is straight ahead, third exit. You need to pick the left lane. When you leave the roundabout and you have two lanes clear, you need to leave in the left lane. Harry had to leave in the right lane because there was a car close on the inside in the left lane. So she left in the right and then checked the mirrors and got back to the left. So that was well done, but she could have avoided all that by picking the left lane on approach.
mate, if this is your manoeuvre, what I'd like you to do now is to pull alongside the car in front and just reverse the car back into a part position. Try to do it within two car lengths and clue in your own, in your own time when you're ready. Parallel park. So pull up alongside it and then just back it in. Finish with that? Yeah. Thank you, driving when you feel ready. To be fair to Ari, she hasn't had much practice at this manoeuvre. She's done four manoeuvres in an hour and a half's lesson, which is pretty good time. going, but she probably needs more practice at this one. The accuracy is way out from the curb and the observations are very poor. She needs to keep looking all around like an owl and not like a goldfish looking forward. This manoeuvre would be recorded as a serious fault. Then take the, <coughs> the next mid move to the left. Ari records her final serious fault along this road. She drives all the way along this road at 20 miles per hour. You will see cars overtaking. This is far too slow on this road. So it would go down as a serious fault for driving at an appropriate speed. Ari explained that she thought this was a 20 mile per hour road. You can only see it's a 20 mile per hour road if you've seen 20 signs. Otherwise you'd normally take it as 30 miles per hour where the street lighting in the area is built up. When driving too slow, drivers behind get angry and start overtaking. This is where accidents happen, so you're expected to make good, safe progress on the road. Harry should be looking at about 26, 27 miles an hour along here, not driving like an old granny.
first one now, we want the next one. And can you drive it forward and be of your choice, please? Just this can be the left or right hand side. That'll do, that's fine by me, it's not part of the test, it's mm. pretty proper everyone. Right, how did that feel? I failed. You know, five series false. I'll just quickly go through them again. Moving off safely, you kept stalling, it just be repeated, came a series fault. Mm -hmm. I'm not worried about that, we can fix that one. Signals correctly, I don't know where you've got this from. I was just stressed, I didn't know what it was. not Signal so right. Um, driving at approach speed, when have you ever drove like an old granny? I don't know. Never, never. never. And position on the stop, you just plant the car on the double yellow lines, which is illegal, and you parallel park. Right, this for you. Um, no, nothing. Was that good apart from all them? <laughs> <laughs> Apologies because I couldn't stop laughing there after what Ari said. However, I would expect it to pass first time with no more than three minor faults.